Hey guys, lesson nine, we are doing area of irregular shapes again. So um, just another repeat of lesson eight. Before we move any further, please look at your learning goal. Um, remember, you're going to put a circle at the beginning of the lesson and a triangle around um, your rating at the end of the lesson. So really quickly, if you're a four, you can use area and perimeter formulas to solve multi-step word problems and find area of irregular shapes. This is just multi-step problems using area and perimeter formulas. If you still need help, you're a two. And if you're still not successful, you're a level one. All right, so don't forget, these are the steps to finding area of irregular shapes. Yes, I'd like you to write this down again so you can remember it. You need to break the shape into two rectangles, solve to find the missing lengths, shade one of the rectangles and find the area of that rectangle or that shape. Find the area of the unshaded rectangle and add those two areas together. So if you need to pause to write that down, please do so. So here is our first shape. Yes, I want you to draw it. And I have a little reminder of what we're going to do at the bottom. You don't need to copy it. You've already written it down. And we have an H here. And I know if this side right here is 10, this side is also 10. This is 4. This is 4. This is 4. This is 4. I've got 5. 5, 2, 2, 2. So I'm pretty much done, but now I need to break the shape into rectangles. Um, if I draw a line here, I've created a rectangle, and I draw a line here, I've created a rectangle. Now I have this extra line. You see it? So I have these three short sides here, 4, 4, and something. Well, 4 and 4 and something has to get to 10. So that piece right here would be two because four plus four is eight, two more would get you to 10. All right, now we are going to do some shading and actually we're gonna to have to shade a little bit more than just one rectangle since we have three. So I'll shade the two rectangles that aren't touching and I'm going to find the length and width. So, so far the length here is two the width of this piece is 10, so 2 times 10 is 20 square units. If this part is 20 square units, this is 20 square units. All right, and then this inside piece, let's look at the length and width of that. The width is 5. The length, or sorry, the length is 2. The length is 5. Sorry, guys. So 5 times 2 is 10 square units. Now we just need to add all these pieces together. So I have a 20, a 20, and a 10. All together that's 50 square units because area is squared. Okay, now if we wanted to find the perimeter, we would just add all the sides. So you have a 2, a 10, a 2, a four, a five, four, two, I'm gonna write it here, 10, two, four, five, and a four. Okay, so five and four is nine, four and two is six, 10 and two is 12, 10 and two is 12, two and four is six, five and four is Nine. Now let's put these ones together. Nine and six is 15. 12 and 12 is 24. Nine and six is 15. These are easier numbers. So 15, 15, and 24. Hopefully I did that right. So this would be 30 plus 24 more would be 54. So our final answer is 54 units for the perimeter. All right, let's look at our next shape. So here we want to find the black space, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to find the area of these two squares, and then we're going to subtract those from the black since they're taking up that middle portion. So I know to find area, I multiply. So four times four is 16 square units. This is also four times four, so 16 square units units. Now my total space would be 16 times 8. I don't know that off the top of my head, so I'm going to multiply. 6 times 8 is 48. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 4 more is 12. 
but I'm not done. I have to take out these two 16s. So 16 plus 16, that's 32. So 128 minus 32 minus those two squares is eight from, two from eight is six, three from two I can't do, so I have to regroup. Subtract um, three from 12, you have nine. So a total of 96 square units is the black space because we took away the white, all right? And here's our last problem. First, we need to break our shape. So I'm gonna break it right here. I'm going to find all of the sides. I know my big long side is equal to my two short sides, so eight is equal to something plus two. So that something has to be six. All right, my big long side is seven. So seven is equal to two plus something. Well, that means that this right here is five, all right? Let's shade our shape. So we're gonna shade this top one. Now length and width of this shape, this is a two by six, right? Because eight goes all the way down, but this part does not go all the way down. So two times six is 12 square units. And then this second shape, the length is two and it goes all the way up. So I need to use the seven. Two times seven is 14 square units. Now I just need to put these together. 12 and 14. Two and four is six. One and one is two. So I have 26 square units. All right. Here is your homework for tonight. You are to find the area and perimeter of this irregular shape. After you do that, please look at your learning goal. Put a triangle over where you are now after you've had this lesson. Thank you for the hard work and I will see you later.